Hello, welcome back. Thanks for being here today. I hope you've all been having a lovely week. It's been a little bit of a crazy week with that blood moon eclipse and everything that happened. It was, wow, <laughs> a big time for me personally to go inside and sort out a lot of things that was going on in there. <laughs> so yeah, let me know if any of you guys have felt the same. But today I'm really excited because I'm going to show you how I make those little crystal mushroom pendants. Um, I love them. They're one of the things that at markets and things I probably sell the most of. So I really wanted to share that with you guys. For me, creating really helps me with my mental health and just doing something, learning something new. Doing something physical with your hands and having a physical result at the end that you can be proud of and you can look at and be like, wow, I made that. <laughs> and that's why I'm here because I want to share that with you guys and I want you guys to be able to look at something that you've made and be like, I'm proud of myself. I did that. I did good. And because you can do it, like you are magic and you have so much creative power inside of you. You have so much personal power and I'm really excited to get into this. Um, so yeah, if you've been liking these videos, please give them a like, subscribe and click the little notification bell if you want to be kept up to date with new videos. Um, it'll send you a little notification as long as you click the bell every time I upload a new one. The next video I'm thinking of doing after this one is the resin mushroom necklaces that I make. A lot of you have been asking about them for a while so I'm really excited to share that with you all. We did a big move and all of my resin stuff has been packed up in a box. So I finally undid that box last night when I was getting the things ready for the polymer clay because it was in, in the same box. So yes, I'm really excited to share all of this with you guys so make sure that you are subscribed and you have clicked the notification bell because I really I don't want anyone to miss out on it. If you think anyone else could benefit from this video or would want to learn how to make these little things, make sure you share it with them. If you have Instagram, I would love to see your creations. So you can just tag Ocean Expressions. It's ocean underscore expressions. And I'd love to connect with you guys in that space as well and be able to have more personal conversations and just like be able to see what you're up to and like really connect in day-to-day -day life as well because it's really special to me really special let's get into it let's get making to start off with you're gonna need a crystal if you want a crystal at the bottom you can also use a shell or any anything you could even just make the base polymer clay if you want but for this example I'll be using a crystal so I've got a little citrine point here um, I'll pop a couple of these up on the website if you guys don't have a crystal and you want to grab some. I'll, I'll put the link below when I get it uploaded. But I've got two little munchkins now, so things have been taking a lot longer than they usually do, just because babies. <laughs> so a little citrine point, or I've got just a clear quartz point. I'm going to need crystal of your choice and some polymer clay whatever colors you like I use white for the underneath of the mushroom brown for the top or you can do red for the top with like little white dots I might show you both or maybe I'll do one tutorial for each I'll just split it up you need crystal polymer clay we'll need white and brown um, you can mix up your brown however you like to whatever tone you like. I've got a crystal point that I'm going to be using as the base of my mushroom. I've got wire. I'm using copper just to make the little pendant part. I've got a couple of paint brushes that I'll use to paint my paint on in the end. I've got this little tool. You can use a cotton bud or a toothpick or something. Or if you have a little tool that's cool as well. I've also got a little toothpick, scissors, and polymer clay. I'm going to be using brown and white for the mushroom. We'll also need some isopropyl alcohol and acrylic paint. 
I'm going to be using black acrylic paint and green and a bit of yellow. Something to mix your paint on and a little baking tray to put it in the oven afterwards. Let's start. So to start off with, I'm going to get my crystal that I want to use. So I'm going to be using this citrine point. I'll pop a couple up on the website. Um, if you guys need a crystal, I'll start off with my white because I'm going to make the base of my mushroom. So get however much you think you'll need. And just get it warmed up. Get it malleable. So I like to just squash it between my fingers, rub it between my palms. This part can be really therapeutic. I find it, it feels really nice. Just rubbing the clay between my fingers. So we've got this bit. Make it into like a little ball and mold it onto your crystal. I generally choose crystals that see it comes out a little bit at the top because then when the polymer clay is on it once it's hardened it's not good, like the crystal's not going to fall out. Um, so I'll pop a couple of crystals up on the website that are probably, like that I would use, that I find are perfect for use with making these little mushrooms. Um, but whatever crystal you have hanging around that you want to use, or a shell or something, just make sure it's got that little notch. So once we've got it moulded onto our crystal, the way we the way we like. I like to roll the top a little bit between my fingers like this so it goes up because this bit's the bit that's going to go into our, the head of our mushroom. So I roll that up just like that and then we'll make the top of our mushroom. So I'm using brown this time. This brown's got a little bit of red in it I might mix a little bit more green into it to make it a bit more of the, the color that I like but you can use whatever color you like you can make these purple or pink or whatever color you're feeling you don't have to do the same color as me so I've got my green Okay, so that's the colour I'm going to be using for this mushroom. So you break off a bit, however big you kind of want the head to be. So I reckon probably about, probably about this big. And I roll it into a circle. And then I go around and I squish my circle down. So then you have like the head of the mushroom. If you want it a bit higher, you can roll it a little bit while you pinch out the sides. Just make it whatever shape you like for a little mushy head. So I like that. And then now what we want to do is get a bit of white that we're going to make the underneath of our mushroom white. So I'll roll it. Into a bit of a circle. That's going to go into your mushroom. So we're not painting it white or anything like that. We're using the clay to make it that colour underneath. So then you can pop it on. It doesn't have to be exactly the same size. You can mould it as you pull it out when it's already on here. And 
into you've got all underneath covered in white clay so now that it's like that we've got our little shape get your little cotton bud or toothpick or whatever you're going to use to make the little hole in the top So we're going to connect our base to our top. So make sure you push it in there and make sure that it's joined pretty solidly. I sometimes like to figure out which one I want to be the front and then kind of squash it down like that. Then we can get a bit of our wire that we want to be the pendant top. I'll cut, cut it. So this is the bit that string or something will be going through. And then you can either just use your fingers or use your pliers to make a little pendant top. I like to make sure mine crosses so that it's not going to pull out of the polymer clay once it's hard. Because if it just sticks in, it can pull out. So we've figured out which way we want it to go. And then We'll just stick this into the top of the clay. And then I like to push the clay over it so I know that it's pretty solidly in there and it's not going to come out. If you don't want fingerprints or whatever on your mushroom, you can also wear gloves to do this. I just like feeling the clay with my fingers, so I don't like to wear gloves. And I just like to work around with my scissors or a knife, or whatever you're using, and cut into the clay to make the little mushroom um, underneath bit. And kind of bring it up through the through the brown through the top as well because this really makes it I find this really makes it look really nice you can use something to hold your crystal if you want I'm just going to lean it on the paints and then go around Just going to use a little pin as well to come around and do the small little lines between the big lines. Just gives it a bit more detail. So there we go, there's the underneath of our mushroom, done. We're facing, I want to face this one this way. So there's my top little pendant string holy bit. We've got our base and then we've got our top. So I like to flare my mushroom a little bit, like so the sides come out a little bit, like that. And a little bit at the front so you can just kind of see it like that you can either leave it like this or you could go ahead and do a little mossy section I personally love moss so I'm gonna make it mossy with I just use a toothpick and I just make little dots so it's all textured 
can use both ends of the toothpick so it gives it more like a natural sort of look okay so I've got my texture that I'm happy with this is not a necessary part of this but I like to sometimes brush a little bit of eyeshadow. I don't wear eyeshadow myself, but I use it on mushrooms. So you can brush a little bit of eyeshadow just to make it a bit shiny on the top, if you want. As I said, like not a necessary part of the process, but just a little bit of an extra thing you can do if you like. You have some eyeshadow hanging around. And yeah, then I'll get my little tray that I'm going to bake it in and then pop it in there. Make sure it is flared the way you want it because this is how it's going to be. This is how it is now. When you pull it out of the oven, it's going to be like this permanently. So we make it the shape you like. I like mine kind of wavy. Wavy curl mushroom. There we go. And that stem's looking good to me. There we go. I might do a little bit more texture just because I love texture on the underneath. And then we'll pop that in the oven. Preheat the oven to about 125 degrees Celsius. If you're talking Fahrenheit, about 250 degrees Fahrenheit. Bake it for about 30 minutes about half an hour. So I have my mushroom and I've got the oven set to about 120 degrees. Let's pop it in there. This oven doesn't have a timer so it's a bit annoying. I set the timer on my phone. But we'll pop them in there for about half an hour. I've got them out of the oven gone hard now I've let them cool down and now they're ready for painting so I'm gonna get I'm gonna use black or just in all the little joints brown green And a bit of yellow. I think that's just to make the mossy sort of colour. And I've also got a little sponge here that I like to use for the moss. With one of my paint brushes, I like to cut the end so that it's more just like one bit that I can get. To cut it up to a little point. There we go. For the underneath of the mushrooms, we'll use some black. But you only need a little bit. And I mix it with isopropyl alcohol to make it runny. Because then it'll get in the cracks really nicely. the black with the isopropyl alcohol and when we paint it on the isopropyl alcohol will dry so it just makes it easier when it's runny to get it into the cracks so then I'm going to do that underneath of here starting at the back I'm just going to get a scrap of material to 
to use to wipe it off when I have too much. So you're gonna just blob it on like that and see how it goes into the holes a lot easier. And then you can wipe, like just wipe the excess off. See how that's making it like it's just defining the lines a lot more than when you don't paint it. And just make sure you hold it tight so that you're not getting the cloth into the crevices. Just the paint. So you can keep going, make it as dark as you want. I like mine still like a little bit white. In sections. But do whatever you feel. And yeah, you need the underside of the mushroom all painted up. Yeah, so we're just getting our acrylic paint mixed with isopropyl alcohol, we're getting it on our brush and dabbing it into the holes that we created with the toothpick. Because this will create the depth for our mossy look that we want to create around the bottom of the mushroom. Once you got it in the little holes, get your rag and wipe the excess off. We're not going for perfection here, we're just going for uniqueness. Because that's, I like uniqueness more than I like perfection, that's for sure. Now we're going to get our mossy colour. So I might do a little bit of yellow and green and we'll make it darker, we'll just mix it with black and we'll just mix these three colours and make the colour we want. Add a bit of, oops. I'm getting it everywhere apart from where I want it. <laughs> Add some isopropyl alcohol. Then I'm going to get my little sponge. Because I like using a little sponge for this. You can still use a paintbrush. That's all good as well. Um, but I get a bit of this on there. So you get on your sponge and just dab, dab, dab over where you've put your black bits. Don't worry if it goes a little bit off them. This is not about perfection. This is about experimenting and creating and letting it flow wherever it goes. So just clean off the little excess bits. If you don't want them there, you might want them there, so don't want to be able to leave them. And we're finished. And there we have like a beautiful, mossy, citrine mushy. 
Yay! You made your own little mushroom. You should be so proud of yourself. I'm so proud of you. Thank you for being here. Thank you for learning something new. Thank you for putting that energy out into the universe. You are amazing. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like. And subscribe and click the little notification bell if you want to be kept up to date with new videos. Comment if you have any questions or tips and I'll try and get back to your comments as quickly as I can. And share, spread the love. If, if you think someone else would benefit from this video or would love to learn this, share it with them. I'd love to see what you guys come up with, what you create. Mix it up. like. Use different colors, use different things to pop in there instead of the crystal. I'd love to see what you make. If you have Instagram, tag me, ocean underscore expressions, and I can't wait to connect. Big love and happy making.